Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I'm Eduardo Golfan and in this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the append query in Microsoft Access. By the way, this video was asked by Mr. Muhammad Imran asking how to create append query in MS Access from different table. So, let us see our sample guys. This is our product list and we will append this record to reserve goods. So this is the destination. So to start, let us go to create menu, click this query design, select this product list, and close. And if you want all the records, just simply click this, okay, drag down. For the select query, let us change this to append query. Asking for the destination, Reserve goods. Click OK. And that's it. So now, let us try to run this query. If you run this query without any criteria, all the records from the product list will be transferred to this reserve goods. So click this. So there's no action query warning because I turned it off. So let us go to this reserve goods. Refresh. OK. All the records from this table are being forwarded in this reserve goods table. Let us delete. So another sample case for um, criteria. Delete that one if you if you want to have a criteria. So down down the item code, item description, PPO, okay, and also the on hand quantity. Let us check. So this is it. And now, if we want to, to append specific records just like this one, the Axe Body Spread Dark Temptation, we will copy the item code and then paste in this criteria. So when we click this Run, go to Reserve Goods, when we click this Refresh, Okay, the specific uh, record, which is the Axe Body Spray Dark Tentation, is being uh, appended. So again, this one, the Spray Click. That one. And then, Run. And then go to the Reserve Goods. Refresh. Okay, this is it. So, what if you want to use the form, like this one? If you have the data here and then you want to append it using command button, so you can do that also. So, let us use this. Let us add a command button. And then, uh, click this miscellaneous, run query. In the next. Okay. There's no uh, query. Let us cancel that because it's not being saved. So let us save this. Let's put append to reserve goods. Okay. So that's it. Let's go back to product information. And then I will I will not use the macro. I will use the BBE. So append to reserve goods okay, something like this and then for this query uh, the criteria let us change the criteria let's see this one item code okay remember this name item code let's go back to reserve uh, append to reserve goods now let us use the expression builder. Open specific, click this, and then form, then loaded form because um, it's open. Then product information. Let's find the item code, this one, and that's it. Close this, save, and then for this, uh, go to event. Let us put some code on click, click three dots, code builder, click OK, 
and her legal is um, I will delete this okay so let's type do cmd open query the name of the query is this one sorry let us copy paste okay and then uh, to avoid warnings we can also use this set warning false then after the query let's put it back set warning and true okay that's it close this is it so now uh, let's let us try guys so sample okay this one five five eight ladies choice peanut butter creamy 170 grams if we click this append to reserve goods okay and let us refresh for the goods okay this one guys ladies choice peanut butter again this one peanut butter sweet refresh okay this is it so i hope this video helps you a lot and i hope you enjoy this video and if you like this guys please click like and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe that's all thank you and see you to my next video